your design when it duplicates it except for the wreath tool. The wreath tool will just have a repeat that goes around the circle or triangle or whatever shape it ends up being. And the kaleidoscope tool mirror merges in pairs. So watch for that when we get to it. Okay. I need one of these guys. We're going to duplicate it. Control D on the keyboard. Bring it down. I'm actually going to move over here. So. And let's do a wreath. And remember I mentioned before that the wreath can be even or odd numbers. So just pick. I'm going to go for five. And we can play with it here. We can bring it out so that it's out here. And just play with it till you get something that you think looks good. And it'll have to think. That's pretty good. If we will select all of that and group it, now we can have a center for our table runner or placemat or whatever it is. Now, I'm going to go ahead and use, did I group that already? Yeah. That's grouped. That one's grouped. That one's grouped. But this one isn't. Let's group it. And then, doesn't really matter which one we select. Uh, I have that selected, so I'm going to select this second. I'm going to group that border on the center. Not group, center it. And then if we do center on center, it should move. So everything's lined up on centers as best they can there. There we go. And I still need to show you the kaleidoscope. So I'm going to duplicate again with Control D. Drag this over, and you have to click on the wreath tool first so that this is activated and you can pick your number. Now, remember, for the kaleidoscope, it has to be an even number. Let's try six to start and see what it looks like. Oh, I didn't do the kaleidoscope. All right. All right, apparently, no, it didn't light up the first time. Six, and Let it think while it makes its stitches. And if you'll notice, it's mirrored in pairs. Just like a kaleidoscope if you were looking down in it. And that is the difference between the kaleidoscope and the wreath tool. Let's bring it over just so you can see. See on the wreath, the notes are all going the same direction. And on the kaleidoscope, every other one's going the other way. Now, the other thing I wanted to show you is out here on this border, if you didn't want it mirror merged, the way you could pull that off is, I want to get one of these straight ones, control duplicate, we're going to drag this over here. some room. Now we can keep duplicating. Control D to duplicate. Why isn't it selecting? And if you'll hold down the control key while you're moving it, then it will make it so that it has to stay lined up. And then if we do both of them, edit, duplicate. Let it think while it makes the stitches. Oops, didn't get them both. 
undo my move that and that let's group it so that we keep a hold of it my control key and there you see that the notes are all going the same direction for the border 